गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज सब्जेक्ट ईवीएस वेलकम बैक इन द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन टूडे एंड लास्ट लेसन फॉर द सिलेबस लेसन नंबर ट्वेल्व आर नीड फॉर फूड चिल्ड्रेन जस्ट ऑब्जर्व दिस पिक्चर्स ओके इन दिस पिक्चर्स यू विल फाइंड अ लेडी शी इज वरिंग अबाउट हर डॉटर आई थिंक डॉटर इज इल do you think like that yes she is ill then mother is feeding her giving her food and after some days she recovered and became fit and healthy again so what helped her to recover how she recovered you can get the answer in picture number 2 mother is giving her food okay so what help her to recover food help her to recover from the illness got it so now here can you tell here are also some pictures what makes this baby gain height and weight here is also question is asked here is baby you can see the baby first picture baby is very small second picture third picture fourth picture and this is last picture you will find the baby is growing up okay and gaining weight and height too so what makes this baby gain height and weight so answer will be food answer will be food so we need food so baby or other children or animals so we can say everyone need food for the growth of their body am i right we need food do you think can you can you live without food one two three days if you if you will not get food will start crying am i right so you need food always you are coming from outside and asking mommy mommy i am very hungry please give me food so you are asking your mommy to give you food because you need food Okay, you feel hungry, then you are asking for food. Am I right? So why do we feel hungry? Our body must function properly. So that is why we need food. Food helps our body to grow. It helps to repair the wear and tear of our body. It also gives us the strength we need to work. So we feel hungry, and then we need food. So food helps our body to grow. Here you can see in picture because of food only the baby is growing in gaining height also and weight also. And this food only helps to repair the wear and tear of our body. When you are feeling ill like this girl, that time when you get the nutritious food, that time your this food will help your body. to repair the wear and tear of your body and your body will be strong again will be uh, fresh and fit and healthy again now uh, so why because of the food so it helps to repair the wear and tear of our body okay means when body is not in proper condition that time food helps so this food gives us strength we need to work when we want to work that time we need energy and this energy we get from the food if we don't get enough food we feel tired and when we don't get food that time we feel tired vigor is lost vigor energy no energy in the body that time you will feel very tired at such a time we feel very hungry and uh, such a time we feel very hungry want to eat something if we eat a little we feel better at once and that time if you, if you eat something you feel better and when we work a lot our body feels fatig what is mean by fatig fatig means the condition of loss of energy feeling tired okay such a type of condition is called fatig our body feels fatig means our body want to get something so want to eat food or want to relax am i right after lot of work we will not have energy so it makes the makes us very hungry that time when we don't have energy after work we want to eat something we feel hungry 
and like us all living things also need food okay can you tell do all living things eat the same kind of food now you start thinking in our surrounding there are different living things we human being animals and other plants and other things are there which are living things do they eat the same type of same kind of food are you thinking ah uh, so they don't they don't eat same type uh, kind of food the food of animals is different the food of human being is different the food of small baby is different the food of grown up person is different am i right next question a cow eats grass would a cat live on grass too cow eats grass then cat can eat the grass and live on the grass only no so cow is eating grass but cat need milk am i right a cat loves to eat mice and also cat loves to eat mice does the mean uh, mean does that mean a goat would also like to eat mice and cat loves to eat mice then goat also loves to eat mice no goat need grass to eat okay so why i am telling this one because the food of different living things is different one okay now next uh, next turn uh, page to each their own food okay now here we are going to see the food of few animals hmm? before going to see that let's see some new terms here very important new terms but very easy to understand oil cake what is the first term oil cake from the name itself you will understand what is mean by oil cake oil oil everyone know what is oil and cake cake means not the cake which you eat cake means it is in the shape of cake okay you can say like that so it is a cake made from oil but it's not a real cake of eating it's a different type of cake it looks like the cake the fibrous part that is left after extracting oil from seeds such as groundnut sesam or cotton seed is pressed into slabs this is called oil cake children what is mean by oil cake in the factories the seeds of groundnut sesame or cotton seed it is pressed into slabs it is pressed and after pressing what is coming out oil is coming out after pressing oil is coming out and uh, when we remove oil from these seeds there is a formation of one cake like structure we can say it as slabs and these slabs is nothing but the oil cake we can say oil cake actually oil is removed but it is made when the there is a process of removing extracting extracting means what to remove oil from that okay extracting to removing oil from that so it is formed because of the extracting oil from seeds so that's why we can say it as oil cake and this is very good food for the animals ambon what is mean by ambon now see ambon is the word in marathi we know there is a word related with this ambon ambon which is fermented which is fermented in marathi we say ambat okay so ambon a fermented mixture of oil cake jaggery and coarse particles of grain mixed in water and used as animal feed so this ambon is nothing but the mixture it is fermented mixture okay fermented F for making idlis we keep uh, rice and dal to uh, for uh, one day to soak okay so after that we grind it and we keep it to ferment okay so that there is a good uh, formation of idlis so that time we ferment that mixture so this mixture is also a fermented mixture but this is a mixture of oil cake 
which is formed here in this process jaggery is added in that oil cake jaggery means everyone knows with the sweet thing which you like to eat a lot okay jaggery and coarse particles of grain okay Partic the particles of grains which are formed uh, after grinding it and these all things are mixed together in water and used an animal feed and it is mi mixed together with the help of water and it is fermented mixture and this is used as animal feed food of animal got it all living things need food but all living things do not eat the same kind of food okay so the food of different animals is different so that we are going to see in the next video tomorrow we'll see which is the food of different animals okay today you read the lesson and learn new terms oil cake and ambon tomorrow we will continue with the same lesson thank you have a great day